Welcome back to Jersey Matters. I'm Larry Menti. It is one of the great and most spectacular New Jersey events, the New Jersey Lottery Festival of Ballooning. And after having to take off a year because of the pandemic, the New Jersey Festival is back. As we do every year, I spoke with Executive Director Howard Freeman about what we can expect this year. Well, it's that time of year again. It's good to see you again. Um, I always enjoy talking to you about the Balloon Festival. Uh, I understand, which I don't think we ever got from past interviews, someone wrote that this is the largest balloon festival or festival of ballooning, as you like to say, on the continent. Is that right? It's the largest summertime balloon and music festival in North America. Wow. At the end I of July here in New Jersey. Yeah, no, and I've been to it and it is wonderful. Tell us about this year. This year is going to be interesting. You know, I think like myself, a lot of people have cabin fever, you know, in, in 1918, the last time there was a pandemic, right after that, you had the roaring 20s. And that's not what I think we're seeing now. So come July 23rd to 25th, people are going to want to get outdoors safely with their family. We have 744 acres at Solberg Airport where the festival takes place. And we're looking forward to having our usual 100 balloons. We have bare naked ladies on Saturday night. We have sticks on Sunday. We have Lori Berkner, the Adele of the preschool set on Friday, and we're adding things every day. So we're pretty excited about this year's festival. Yeah, you had to cancel last year, right? Unfortunately, first we rescheduled to October and then given the, the COVID protocols and everything, we had to cancel. So this will be the first one in two years um, and everybody's excited to get out there. A number of people let their tickets ride and, and you know, want to keep them didn't want to lose the, the VIP treatment they were getting. So yes, this will be the first one, but it'll be the 38th annual balloon festival. It's the New Jersey Lottery Festival Ballooning. The 2019, did that set a record for you? Uh, it was close to a record. Um, you know, the Beach Boy concert we had that year set a record and we had about 168,000 people. I think the record was in 2016 when we had 175,000 and the governor's proclamation this week was excellent in saying that all fairs and festivals can now have 50% of capacity. The interesting thing is what is the capacity of a 744 acre airport where you can certainly have a tremendous amount of, of social distancing. So we feel pretty good. Even the year we had 175,000 people, other than maybe a little bit on Saturday night, it was, it was definitely wide open the rest of the time. So um, if families are looking for the right place to come out, um, all they have to do is look on balloonfestival.com and they'll see all the different attractions leading up to the uh, Running with the Balloons 5K on Sunday morning. I know you love when we shoot the human cannonball over the starting line to start that through all the concerts, through all the balloons and the different activities we have throughout the weekend. Yeah, you're talking about the governor's proclamation now. You're not going to be launching these balloons until late July. Right. So a and lot of things could change by then. Right. And as he said, he's opening up more things every day. He's looking to open th more things by Memorial Day. So come the end of July, we feel pretty good. You know, his goal is to have 70 percent of the adult population vaccinated by uh, mid to late June. And as of now, the end of April, there's close to three million people are fully vaccinated, which is about 44 percent of his 70 percent goal. So we're right on target for getting those vaccines in arms. And uh, between that and herd immunity, we feel pretty good about the safety come the end of July. I'll, I'll tell you what, you talked about bare naked ladies, you talked about sticks. I know that there's lots of games and activities for family there while you're there. There's lots of food there. It is a, an all day, a several day event. But the star of the show, and I, this is what I was blown away by when I went, was all of the balloons going up at sunset. There's really nothing like that I've seen before. It is it is a beautiful sight. How many balloons this year? And talk about some of the stars of the show, because I know the year I went, there was Shamu, there was Darth Vader. There are things that people look for. Right. You know, our slogan this year, things are looking up. And that's in terms of the pandemic being over and in terms of the balloons, certainly. Our signature balloon this year will be one we call the New Jersey Lottery Sunny Boy which is a bright sun. It commemorates their 101 days of summer. So that should be pretty cool. You know, we also have a unicorn, um, which Ali the unicorn and every kid, every adult, everybody loves a unicorn. 
we have a sloth and we have all kinds of other special shapes that uh, we're adding every day, to be honest. We're still almost three months, or a little less than three months out. So we're adding balloons every day. And yes, it brings out the little kid and everyone. You know, I've done this for 28 years now. I've been to a bunch of other festivals. So if you multiply that times five ascensions each time, you know, it's a couple hundred ascensions I've seen here and around the world. And uh, the hair on my arm still sticks up as soon as the fans get out, start blowing air into the fabric. And then as soon as the, the burners fire it up and hot air rises. So when those balloons start going up, it, it brings out the little kid of, in everyone. And, you know, I still love it. And I've been around all this time. So as I've always said before, and I know you came on a Friday night, I believe, uh, but the morning ascension, Saturday and Sunday morning at 630, which is an hour after sunrise, the sun is just coming over the Cushatunk Mountains. It's still quiet. It's not that hot out yet. It's not as crowded. So for people who still want to avoid crowds, those Saturday and Sunday morning ascensions are the perfect time. And it's it's really a spiritual experience being out there. And, and that's my favorite time. No, I, I, I'm going to try to make that this year. They, the morning one sounds wonderful. It's just that we're not morning people. But that, <laughs> that New Jersey lottery um, sun going up and rising is a tremendous metaphor for this year uh, <laughs> in the summer. Uh, you know, I hadn't even thought about that. But as I said, the things are looking up. That'll be very cool. We'll play Here Comes the Sun or some similar thing after we play uh, Up, Up and Away, which we always do. But, you know, the lottery is adding a lot of new things. What, you know, the, the being challenged to have a new title sponsor, and we really appreciate it. They came on last year. Um, but they're adding a lot of things. They have a thing called a cash pop. So, which is where if you pick one out of 15 numbers, you get instant wins. So we're going to have a cash pop. Uh, emerging artists, New Jersey State. So we're going to have a lot of emerging New Jersey artists where the uh, main part of our festival at the Quick Check Tent used to be. They will have this huge Spevco two-story um, thing where you can play the lottery, you can get out of the sun, there'll be beverages and, and food available. There's going to be new food courts. So we have a lot of interesting new things that we're developing by the day, utilizing the CSP, the COVID safety protocols that uh, a local healthcare company is is providing to us. So, um, you know, with extra sanitizing stations and all those sort of things. So we're pretty excited. And I know if everybody else has that cabin fever that I've had, you know, I tell people for the last 14 months, my garbage went out more than I did. So <laughs> now the opportunity to uh, get out there in a, in a wide open setting in the open air to see all these balloons, including the New Jersey Lottery Sunny Boy is, is going to be a lot of fun. How much does this mean for New Jersey? How much in the terms of money and cash and taxes does it mean for the state? You know, years ago, we did a, an economic impact study, Montclair Business, uh, the business department at Montclair University did a, a, a economic impact study and found out it was over 53.4 million. And that was years ago. So I'm sure it's a lot more now. We hire probably 2,500 people, whether it's ticket takers or vendors or uh, all the different people involved for trash cleanup and that sort of thing. Um, so those people come, you know, and stay for how many days they're here. We start building the festival five days in advance. So, um, you know, all those people are eating, they're drinking, they're getting gas, they're staying in hotels. Uh, we've raised over $3 million for nonprofits throughout the last 27 years. So we're pretty happy about what it does. And last year, 2019, I keep saying last year, but 2019 was the last year we had the festival. There were over 950 million media impressions to say nothing of online and social and digital with positive content coming out of the state. You know, so forget any negatives that you've heard about here or anywhere else, you know, just seeing positive uh, spin on the state with people reporting from all around the world and seeing it all around the world is something we're pretty proud of to be able to um, put the spotlight in a positive light on New Jersey. And that's why our New Jersey tourism is, is a backer of ours as well. And we're proud of that partnership as well. Give the, uh, give the website to get tickets one more time. The website, website is uh, www.balloonfestival.com. If people have questions like any other time, um, you can call 1-800-HOT-AIR-9 and people will be happy to tell you where to um, do it. You know, all of our pilots, it's amazing how many of our balloon pilots tell us that even during the pandemic, they've had record numbers of balloon ride sales and we're way ahead for balloon rides. And we always sell out of 1500 or so rides 
um, you know, to get up, up and away at the festival, about 2,500 people take tethered rides. So our GA tickets are ahead of where we've been, um, you know, year over year in the past. So once again, uh, I can't think of a better way to, to get out of the terribleness that we've had over the last 14 months, come out with your family and enjoy a great day as you and your family did a couple of years ago when we had you out here. No, I, I plan on coming out again because it just seems like a tremendous way to celebrate coming out of the other end of this pandemic. Thank you, sir. I always appreciate your time and you are a great ambassador for New Jersey and for the Festival of Ballooning. Larry, thank you. And as I said, things are looking up. Come on out and experience more than just hot air. Howard Freeman, Executive Director of the New Jersey Lottery Festival of Ballooning. Still to come on Jersey Matters. <laughs> Take a ride in the Covey car, a way for you to get to and from your COVID-19 vaccination appointment. Learn how next on Jersey Matters.